<laughs> to license it. Yo, right, get that nigga from mom and that's <laughs> But yeah, man, Dre, what's today's topic, man? You were saying? What's today's topic? Uh, so, um, this is inspired actually of. Um, I don't know if you lot have seen it. Kanye's. Kanye's um, interview with um, Nick Cannon. With Nick Cannon. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's a good watch, anyway. But um, he was just talking about like um, Planned Parenthood and abortions and all that. He's obviously anti-abortion and all that kind of thing. So I thought, oh, that would be a good topic, but not about abortion and being anti-abortion or that, but just men's rights in abortion and whether men should have a say, or is it strictly a woman's thing because it's her body? Hmm. Two sides to it. Two sides to it. So you can look at it from two ways. Yeah. Say <clears throat> you're with a girl, she gets pregnant, you don't want the child, she does. You're or that child. <laughs> you look at it where you're with a girl, you want the child, she, she doesn't, doesn't want the child. Having having the child. Okay. So do you feel a man should have more say in those situations? I feel <clears throat> if you're with the person your opinion should be taken into consideration. Consideration. Mm-hmm. However, it's still down to it's still open yeah. down to her. If that's all right, if that's your partner, if that's who you're with, mm. then fundamentally you're gonna have to support her decision mm-hmm. or leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like those are your options, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to support her decision or leave. I don't feel as if men should be able to demand a woman do something with their body. That we don't have to deal with the consequence of. Because it's automatically her body, isn't it? You understand? We don't have mm-hmm. to deal with the consequence mm-hmm. we don't mm-hmm. do of that action. So, yes, we can support her. Yes, if she gets rid of our child, we can feel some type of way about mm. it. But fundamentally, it has an impact on her mm. body. We're like, that's the outside party looking in. Mm. I like, hear you. I, I, feel, I agree. I feel like, but we should. I don't think how can I explain? It it goes back to the whole yeah like, if I say I don't want to eat, and you still have this child, should I be responsible? I was gonna get to that as well. Let's we'll come back to that because that in itself is a whole another topic, different mm-hmm. thing as well. But I think I I <laughs> think I don't think that men. I think if you're with her, you could your she should take into account your opinion mm-hmm. on the situation. But it's ultimately down to her. If you're with someone, I think you lot would have had that discussion. Yeah, that child discussion already. Like, what what do we do if? I mean, mm-hmm. it dep- it, going back to that, what you're saying, if you're together, it depends on what your situation is when you're together because you could be living in a small house. You could really, you really could have had a child. Mm-hmm. You're not ready for the next child. Mm-hmm. But we're not in an age where precautions are. We are, but nothing's hundred percent though, isn't it? <laughs> of course, but what I'm trying to say to you is. There's discussions in it. Mm. If this does happen now, no, we're not ready for it. So I mean, cool. We, we, I think we say there is discussions, but I think those discussions don't really don't usually take place, and they really should take place. Same As thing in. we said about the sickness cell discussion. Mm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's yeah. discussions. But I still, that, feel, even if those conversations do take place, I feel like there's another. If say you had a conversation, yeah, you know what? If we were to get pregnant, then you know we can't go ahead of it. But mm. then, when she's actually pregnant and got that baby in her, it's a different set of emotions, bro. Yeah. She could be you hear me. But yeah. this is what I'm trying to say <laughs> to you. So, it's about how well you know that person and you lot's communication. Mm. Mm. Because fundamentally, you could say, "Listen, babes, right now for me, because of A, B, and C, mm-hmm. I don't think it's the best time." Mm. But, but if you're with her, mm-hmm. and this is just then fundamentally you can have to say listen it's not a good time for me but i got you mm-hmm. so if you decide this is what you want to do man's dead there but ideally not i'm now. not on it yeah but you said that day that's a dangerous because that's then a mind fuck though, though, yeah <laughs> that's a mind fuck for a girl even though like i'm here but <laughs> Your emotions is not going to be 100% through that pregnancy. You're not going to be consistent because you're going to have that days where, oh, I'm excited. And then you might, you know, get that ticket one day, come off. Oh, fuck you and this baby, fam. Like, <laughs> yeah, but like, remember, we'll she's talk. got her emotions. She might yeah. be like, yay, baby. And one day she'll be like, fuck you, you told you to be pregnant. You're yeah, pregnant. like, you know, like, you're the delivery of, fuck you, you didn't want this baby, get out. That's what I'm going to try. It's, a, it's a mind mean? fuck. It's a, it's, a, it's a mind fuck. So you've got to be, you've, you've Can you got to like, tread. 
definitely like yeah, that your words have to, to be, be have to be mad because you can't be to a girl I'm oh. not on it but, but <laughs> you know if you want it then cool <laughs> whether you say it or not Technically, that's what the answer is. I mean, I mean, in that situation, you gotta be very dangerous about how real you wanna be in that in that situation. Yeah, you gotta bro. be very careful. You, like, you know, you gotta. Yeah, <laughs> I call the man them. <laughs> yeah, that's, see, that's the conversation you have with the man them. <laughs> like, you know, that's that's you know the mad thing up the road that man was. <laughs> <laughs> what, Susie? She pregnant? <laughs> blah. Nah, do you know what you said? Blah. Because it's Susie. Uh, yeah, I don't know, nah, man. You, you know gotta be is, very careful. You see, <laughs> you see, if she, you're not with her, and then. That happens. Mm. The conversations you have with the man then is very, very, very reckless, you know. Yeah. yeah. I've, blood, I've heard a uh, man say some reckless <laughs> things, <laughs> bro. I've, I've been on the phone to conversation. Blood, you see that thing that man was beating? Yeah. Why can't the girl say she's pregnant, fam? What are you going to do? But I'm not going to lie, fam. Man might just run her over. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of I'm not laughing at that. I'm not promoting this behaviour, fam. <laughs> no, but I've heard the conversation. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 I've heard yeah, man chat like that. Do you know what it is? That's the conversations because a man's confused, fam. I've heard man chat like that. Rage, do you know what? It's, conf- it's confusion. And you know, it's, that's, <laughs> where, that's where you got to be the bedroom. Be like, you're an idiot, fam. Do you know no, what, no, fam? No, no, the rage. I, I, that rage there, you just have to let my vent. Blood, I swear to you. Come link me now. We're going to drive into her front room. <laughs> what like? Uh, because what you gotta think of, yeah. Suppose it's like, um, like suppose you just went on a mad one. You beat like a, a, a nitty or like the <laughs> the biggest like. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you deserve it if you beat a nitty. <laughs> like, like, do you know what? Do you know what, what we like the just this girl is just like what, the, the, the bottom feet like. Hold, you do not your, want people finding out that you bred me the What are yeah. you doing? Hold your L certain, and there's certain L's, L's walking around the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> I listen, my, there's my, certain L's. My grandma, used to, my grandma um, said, said to me one time is, stop messing with girls that you can't see being the mother of your child, fam. Facts. That's, that's the best way. Right, right, that's right, right. the best way that's to look at it. That's all well and good now. <laughs> when we're grown ass no, men. No, yeah. no, no. But she said it to me as a grown ass man. Yeah, yeah. But you see, when we was young, when we was younger, though, we was dip, dip cool. When we was younger, we was moving reckless. But as a grown, been, yeah. as a grown ass man, that now I'm aware of responsibilities and life. She's not gonna tell me that 18 or mm. 16. She's gonna mm. know that this guy. It's gonna go in and one day out, or go in and one day and come out the other. Yeah. yeah now, I mean, as a grown man, she turns around and tells me, "Don't mess around with girls." That you cannot see being the mother of your child. At what age did she tell you this? Huh? <laughs> just the other day. Last week conversation. She told me this last year. Last year she told you this. Last year. Did you take heed? Yeah, hundred percent. Straight away. At first, like when she said it, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like what's this what we're chatting about? But, but, but you, know, <laughs> you know, you're driving. You know, you're driving home, yeah. Because my grandma always hit me with these fingers. I'm always gonna tell you stuff and. You may not listen to me now, but you might you might take it in later. And you know that giant poem when she said it, yeah? I started thinking. I was like, wow, this one was actually talking true. I'm not going to let Jado avoid that. Because every time you start speaking, Jado don't see like, oh, really? Yeah, I'm all talking, <laughs> man. <laughs> man. Hey, listen. Don't hey. mess with Gyan that you can't see being the mother of your child. Bro. Nah, but the true. thing is, let's be honest with you, yeah? Mm-hmm. You see this whole mother of your child thing? Mm-hmm. The person she was at the end, yeah, was not the person she was at the beginning. Fact, but you know mm. certain girls you're dealing with. Certain mm. men that are dealing, are linking a girl that's fully across this. Like, you know she's a bitch, but you, you're linking her because the, the sex is great. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but I you, mean... And you know in your head, if I get this girl pregnant, I'm fucked. Yeah. This whole abortion but... thing is going to be this universal... Like this, this never-ending topic. But because women are always gonna say it's my body. But in the states, aren't they trying to take their rights away from that? They're trying to, but it's being rejected. Trump, Trump, couple, couple of governors are trying. Try- to in, st- in couple of states, they've tried, but it's been thrown out of court. I think in China, the man has an equal say. Okay. So I think if he says you're not aborting the child, then yeah, that's it. I I think <laughs> it is unfair to mm. a certain degree that if I want this child and you say no. That's it. Mm. I think that's unfair mm. because I know it's your body and everything. But the same way as if we had a child that I didn't want, you'd still expect me to look after this child. <coughs> I yeah. think it's unfair that you have a say to remove this child and there's yeah. nothing I can do about it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. And women also have the right to not even tell the father. You know that, right? Yeah. So they can just go and do it yeah. without even having yeah. to say yeah. anything. This is what I'm trying to say to you. So I think that's unfair. Mm. But then this gets back into 
you know, like rights, who should have rights over what. And fundamentally, it's a woman's body. So you kind of just have to support the decision she makes. Mm -hmm. I just think it is unfair that men literally don't have a say. Yeah. And then if it is to keep the child, you are expected, well, you lay down, you made the child, so you must now so step up to the put, plate. Let's put a hypothetical position. If you, even if you guys got a girl pregnant, mm -hmm. you tell them, say, so you know what? I ain't ready for another child. I'm not, I can't fully commit to this. Mm -hmm. And she goes and has that child and comes to you and says, I need your help and support. What's your answer? You have to take that off. Hmm? Help and support it shall you have be. To take, you have to take that off. Yeah, you have so, to. So, okay. So when you've got some man out there that turn around and say, look, I told you I didn't want this child. I can't financially help you. I don't want nothing. I, I can't. I'm not involved. Is that man wrong? Yes. Knowing from the get-go, from the jump, he said to her straight, yes. I can't. Okay. Because uh, I would say this. The reason I say, yes, he's in the wrong is because when you're lying down with a woman, yeah, mm -hmm. <coughs> you're basically signing a secret little contract. They say, whatever happens say after this, I'm the, on it. The T's and C's, yeah? The T's and C's, mm -hmm. whatever protection we're using mm -hmm. is not 100%. We both know that. Mm -hmm. So if something does happen, mm -hmm. you I could mean, get pregnant. All right. But the same woman that lies down, she signs that contract also. Yes. So now when she's pregnant, she says, I don't want this. But the guy's like, rah, no, no, no. I want this child. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Where is the onus on her to be like, well, you, you signed this as well. Does well, the same rules apply, basically? Yeah. You, it you it does it. apply, but then... Because it's the different because the baby's in her the because ba she will obviously have the final say i'm talking in your question in regards to then does he still have the responsibility to look after the child yes because if you don't want a child don't have sex that's the only way you're going to not have a child is if you don't have prevent. sex mm -hmm. yeah. so if it's a case you just do not want a child mm -hmm. don't have sex simple as that so if a man getting mad and he's like well cause the same way as if <clears throat> say the woman doesn't want the child the man doesn't say they come to an agreement she has the baby he's now the soul he can still i was he says it comes to the mother and say well you still got to contribute to this baby mm. i'll look after the child but you still got to contribute financially mm -hmm. hmm. it's, a, it's a mad one it's a tricky one but i feel like fundamentally it's on the, it's yeah. the woman's say it's the woman's say Listen, yeah. i believe <clears throat> and this is this is my my take on things i believe that resp 50 50 responsibility ends at the moment of ejaculation facts the <laughs> moment that sperm once you bust that, that nut egg, you no longer have 50 50 saves in what window. happens next yeah just imagine it becomes a 90 10. yeah, yeah we can <laughs> we can lie down together we can look at each other you want to use condom no you no all right cool we can do this everyone's busting nuts everyone's happy the minute you yeah and it's done <laughs> it's a wrap from there it's, right? a wrap. it's over you've signed off you like... look at her <laughs> you smile as i said uh, what is it? W yeah. What now? That's exactly what because it that's is. That's what it is. And I'm not saying we're meant to be equal. Please, no one take mm. this. And I'm not saying we're meant to be equal because it's not built that way. No. Because it's not like you can be like, well, I'll have this baby and mm. you have, have the, the next, next one. one. Yeah. yeah. We can't do that. Mm. Biologically, we're not meant. We're not built to be equal. Mm. You're meant to have the child. I'm meant to support you for it. That's mm. my role. Mm -hmm. However, the problem is, is I think the only reason this debate comes up is because some people have this inkling that we're meant to be equal. Some people have this inkling that we're um, meant to have some sort of equal yeah. say in a situation that was never built for us to be equal in the first place. I think as well is that, not even that it's meant to be equal, I feel like some men just feel like, some men can't take the fact that there's, that's just one particular situation they cannot control. You can't control, but that's yeah, where, that's where and that they have violent. no say in. Man, like, oh, I'll tump her their belly, I'll kick <laughs> you know her I mean? this, I'll do this, I'll do that. I mean, that's the idiot thing for no, but. Car. At the same time, people talk from a place of emotion. Yeah. So a mm. lot of that is just an emotional. Mm, mm, mm. You know how many babies are walking around this world that were either unwanted by the mum or the dad? Mm. Yeah. But they're the most loved child now. Yeah. Do you the, understand? The mm. most loved child are the ones that were never wanted. I, I was even thinking that. Like, what's Bruh. the dynamic? <laughs> if, <laughs> whoa. whoa. <laughs> Let us backtrack. <laughs> what? Listen, the most unloved, the most loved child are the ones that were never wanted, fam. So, I was wanted. Don't let's not. Get <laughs> I'm the second child, fam. Wow. I was the plan. <laughs> yeah, we... I don't agree with that statement. Bro. That's a wild well, one. Yeah. That's a wild statement. The most statement. loved ones were the unwanted ones. Yeah. So that's like saying, Prem, you love your daughter with all your heart." 
My child, I wanted my child. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so you don't love her. No, man. You don't love her. Yeah, you back dragon. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at my content, man. Nah, nah. I mean, like, you know, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, you know, when you get them relationships where, like, they're like, oh, like, when the man's like, oh, I don't really want this suit. But then when you see him with this child, it's like, yo, you love this child, like, to the earth with me. That's what I meant by that still. But you know what? We all know people that's been in that position where they did the child like, like I'm not, I'm not on this, I'm not on this. And now when you see them with their child, fam, that's like, yo, yeah, I hate that, but I don't think that, don't think they're the most loved ones. Yeah, no. like, I don't think it affects the level. Like, yeah, like, there is a, obviously there is a lot of abandonment. But of I mean, I mean, in terminology like, like I just said, man, like, we know people that. So man basically realize how much of a blessing it is. Yeah, After that's what I meant yeah. by that comment. Still, some. You have to understand that even in your hardest days, sometimes your kids are your your sunshine in that dark moment. 100%, mm. Sometimes they're the biggest irritation to walk the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, like, I don't know. It's 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 fifty fifty, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, because I was gonna say as well, like what, like what would the dynamic be? Like, say, like if you got a chick pregnant. Mm. Say you wanted a child, mm. she went on it. She was like, "No, nope, no, nope, I want an abortion, I want an abortion." But then she comes around. She's like, "All right, cool." Like, how would you look at her as a mother through that pregnancy? Would you, would you look at her a bit differently? Because like, bitch, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't even want this baby. No, nah, because you don't. You still is, yeah. One People are allowed to change their mind. And you know, mm. it's, it's it's emotions, isn't it? You know, probably she was probably going through that whole career thing or uh, what on something in her life during that time and she just weren't thinking straight mm. sometimes you gotta take a, a step back to just think so maybe her first answer oh, i'm not on this i'm not on this she could have spoken to someone or she could have just thought look she could have looked at it from a, 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 another perspective and thought you know what well some people are still not on it mm. some people yeah. just have the child they're have like well it, yeah. you know my child's here so i will look after them but i never wanted you and they genuinely look at their child like it's sad still you know but but that's there's a there's a lot of mm. there's a lot of kids out here that they know they like they can feel it that they're not wanted yeah they can feel it mm. so I, yeah, I don't they, they see it through the parent isn't it like if the, especially if like the mother's not maternal or shit like that. Mm. i think before yeah. an abortion there should be some sort of Counseling session. Yeah, like some sort Test. of evaluation mm, yeah, mm. of like your mindset. Consultation mm. or something like that. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, it's your body, but you should be able to sit down with someone and be like, all right, cool. This is what you want to do. This is not what you want to do. Let's kind of discuss. Isn't, isn't there something like, do they not speak to a woman like a woman and say, I, like, I think there's a, I think they, I'm not I, I, sure, but I think there's like a, are you sure this there's is There's like a process, on? like a little, I, I, like, think, I think there is a little, <clears throat> I think they do have a, nothing extensive, but there's I, a little conversation. I mean, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not speaking as like to say that like, man, it's a goal in this shit, but I think they do have like a conversation prior to even starting the, the procedure. Like they start, they speak to the woman and ask her, maybe when, maybe A is a girl, someone could DM us and tell us if they, if they've been through that. But I think there is a a conversation they have and they, they ask them into why they want to... No, because you know, like at the moment, because cool. even to have a child, you have to be mentally mm-hmm. sound. You <laughs> yeah, understand? I was going to say But that. there's a lot of <laughs> unstable people out here having children. Mm-hmm. Look, cause even look, sometimes people have children, especially women that go into postnatal depression. It yeah. just takes them... Whew. Yeah, but ah, but that's a different thing because there's no way of anticipating you can't yeah that. you can't you can't yeah until I mean, the baby's born yeah because yeah, remember it's, it's the doubt down to the hormone changes yeah. and all of that there's no way of <laughs> anticipating that mm. i just think like there's there's so many variables to this mm. there's so many yes ifs buts maybes but fundamentally it's a woman's choice in it and yeah. you just you have to support it or walk away from it yeah, those are your only two options yeah, yeah. have you ever like i've ever been to the abortion clinic no no i went with my bedroom one time so you know it's whatever and we were sitting in there and when you go in there you see people of all walks of life yeah of course like couples walking in there. remember like this white guy this white guy was there his wife and his wife went in and they were just sitting there so like just imagine and i went oh right like made a little joke with you secretary so i know my wife man you know yeah, we just had a baby like you know a year ago and you know we've really got three kids and you know just not the time's not right right now you know you know, we're, we're moving house and this and that. And we're sometimes right, but I'm sure we'll probably be ready like in the next two or three years. I went, 
a bit weird. It's because of the it's the environment we're from. So because we're yeah. so used to so this abortion thing being like a little, like it's a side I, thing I or think, it's a this. Think, there's a reason. Mm. I think <clears throat> obviously abortion is. I'm from a I'm from a family where we don't believe in that, ain't it? That's how we were brought up in it, mm. you know. So I think there's maybe the community from there's a negative standpoint about how abortions are gone about. Like you said, there's a little cover yeah, up because it is. It's always a thing where it's never like a, you know what we're together, but this is not the it's right time. time. The abortions always kind of come from a place of, but oh, nah, man, hurry up and get rid of these. Yeah, man. yeah. It's always it's, a. It's a there's a negative yeah like around it so where sometimes people are genuinely happy to be like you know what right yeah. right person wrong time we'll come back to this later yeah mm. let's keep it moving um <clears throat> but it's just it's, it's environmental isn't it yeah yeah it depends it's, it depends on where you are i'm just reading yeah i just, just randomly typed something on google and it's saying approximately 24 percent of all pregnancies in great britain end in abortion 24%. 24%. And you know the other thing with this abortion? It's what stage of the pregnancy you were born. You so you only yeah. got three months, if I'm correct. Oh, no, five on. months. There's something oh, here. No, it, yeah, it's, now. Now it's five months. You can yeah, go you can as do far as to, five. Yeah, you can do up to some mad. Some now mad you can go up to five. Wait, hold on. I think, isn't it under the NHS three months? You can go private after five months. Bro, I don't think so. I think you can just go I think up even five in, months. I think even in the So you NHS, can be yeah, big belly pregnant and be like, I'm I'm out. I tap out. This is wrong. Trying to see if there's anything coming here. And then to well. me, that's not nuts. to say it's a difference, yeah. That's nuts. But I you're mean, a murderer, fam. Th- I mean, <laughs> like, I mean, like, I'm not here to judge. I'm not gonna like, call it. Listen, not but that's nuts, man. You've at gone five months, months, you're a murderer. I don't care what you've got to say. Mm. I don't. Care. That's my yeah. opinion. When it's yeah, when it's fi- fully formed, then oh, you're a murderer. I don't. I don't, I don't. I don't think women let it get to that stage. Unless like, there's a there, medical reason. reason yes. Then where you're like, you know what, my child. Is not is either gonna could potentially die from this point, yeah, or, or I could die, or, or, you, or I yeah. could die, or you know, like they tell you, your child will have some sort of disability. Could you, you find out after four months? What, yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. Cool. There's different, but sometimes people are just like nah, because nah, remember, every, man, I, I, there's different pe- people. Have, people have different yeah. reasons for having nah, children. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, man. Listen, man. I, from on. when you're five months deep, man, that's it, man. I'm trying to find it. To Big belly pregnant. What? But like I said, I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of people that's gone through abortions get it very early. The Some early. people get it when they store the tablet Fucking thing. They can still just yeah. bang the tablet. In tab- 2019, a reported 2,200, sorry, and 23,000 abortions took place in Great Britain. What? The highest abortion rates belong to Merseyside, London, Greater Manchester. Okay. Where's Merseyside? Liverpool? Liverpool yeah. and them sides, yeah. Okay. Yeah, approximately 25% of all pregnancies, excluding miscarriages, currently end in abortion. Total annual abortion in England and Wales has increased by 282% since 1969. Do you know what the problem is as well? They, the government now are saying to people that you get benefits for your first two kids, but the third one you don't, you don't get, get nothing. Unless, unless the first you think that's impacting 18? people as well? Of yeah. course it is. Because remember, if you are, ch- cause there's some people that literally live off benefits, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you know, if I have this next child, I'm not no, getting nothing. Nothing, you're it's alone. long for you. You're alone. What's the point? You ain't got no money to do it the first two. Yeah, because that first one has to be over 18 to get. So even let's say, for instance, like, let's say, for instance, you had one child, then you have twins. Only one of them twins are accounted for. The other's not. Cause Is it's it? Still, it's still yeah. counted as three kids. Right. Less Eating. than... 0.1% of abortions in 2019 were performed to save the life of the mother. Exactly. So Everything that doesn't, that doesn't even happen often then. Yeah. 0.1% less But this is less what I'm trying to say to you. But ladies, it is your decision. Um, yeah. DM us. I want to hear some... Oh, and here as we a man, go. All I can do is support. What you lot was asking, what? the trimesters. It says approximately 91% of abortions in 2019 happened during the first trimester so that's before the 13th week and approximately seven percent of all abortions occurred between 13 to 19 weeks two percent occurred past 20 weeks 20 weeks that's four months 
That's what I'm trying to say to you. You can have an abortion. Two percent. Two percent of them were. But you can have an abortion up to five. That's it's your right to do so. So what's two percent of two hundred thousand? Maths was never much. (laughs) (laughs) I want to see, but ten percent. Ten percent is what twenty thousand. So two percent. So half of of that is ten. Two percent of half of that. Yeah, is five. So it's about two thousand pregnancies. Yeah, two thousand pregnancies. Uh, Were aborted. Past the twenty week, man. Fuck you know. It's a bit of a morbid subject. Jesus, isn't it? Hey, fam, it's like I thought. What you just, just that beautiful come through here, bro. Fuck you know. But but overall, what are you lot? Are you lot? Are you lot against abortion or? I'm against it, man. You're against it. Nah, yeah, it's a woman's decision, bro. It's a woman's decision. It, it, it is the woman's decision ultimately. Like if I was with someone and yeah, it came to it, I might not understand it the first time. I might not understand their decision. But that's someone that I love, and I got. Right, so you're against it, yeah, So let's say we've all had very sketchy pasts, so yeah. <laughs> all of us, we've had a very uh, mm-hmm. questionable past. Yeah. Mm. If one of the questionable ones <laughs> pregnant, yeah, <laughs> yeah, what would you be like? I mean, I'm not against. I'm not <laughs> for abortion, so look, I'll be, I, I'll I'll look, look, you. Like I said, the way I was set up for my, for my pups is you got it. Or any anything you do is your responsibility in this world, isn't it? And if one of the question ones got pregnant and they're telling me they're not getting an abortion, it is what it is. From what can I do? Duck them, huh? Duck them. <laughs> but I can't do nothing yeah, it's one, it's, because it's you know it is. Still. Yeah. One thing is, I don't, I don't. Maybe it's just me. I can't bring embarrassment to my mum and dad's door in it. If that girl goes around and finds my mum and dad's door, you knock on your door with baby in yeah, her hand. Yeah, but you don't like, think a girl herself could be the embarrassment when she comes <laughs> <the door>. yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Maybe my dad, what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you doing? That's a very key. Hey, ugly people make some good looking babies. That ain't oh, ugly, man. Man. Yeah, I ain't ugly, bro. I mean, yeah. but imagine the you turn up your. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't a baby puppy. Nah, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Like, look, I'll be real with you. I'm a. From the household I was brought up in, I'm against abortions. But mm. as I've gotten older, I understand why some people have them. Hmm. I, I don't saying. have a firm standpoint like that. Like I'm not. I don't. For, I don't against. agree with it. Like I said, I'm, I don't I'm, agree. I'm with more it. circumstantial. Yeah, Boom, but I don't agree with it. But I get. I understand because everyone's walk of life is different, isn't it? Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying, saying. But I'm more circumstantial. Okay. I'm saying it depends on. It depends, it depends, it depends yeah. on the situation. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it's. But you know, it's some just, people are steadfast. Like I'm not on it. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. I think abortion is one of them things where, like you said, it's circumstantial. You even you can be in the middle depending on mm-hmm. what it is. It's like with most things, it's like, you know, like some people might say like, say like with Labour and Conservatives. Mm. Yeah, I agree with this what Labour do and I agree with what this what Conservatives do. I'm not really a Labour guy. I'm not really a Conservative guy. But, I, mm. but are you get me? Like this, like there's certain things where it's okay to be like in the middle. Not it's everything you politics, have to be on yeah. one side. Do you get me? It's all politics. And yeah. remember people's <clears throat> lives are subject to change. You could be against abortion until a circumstance comes up yeah. where you feed us you it's feed the best choice you have no yeah. Yes. You yeah, yeah. like for instance what would you say now like let's say you're in a relationship with a woman you've been offered a job you know let's say to buy or something and then about a couple of weeks before you go she says i'm going to say i'm pregnant what would you do then to take the l on the job <laughs> to be honest you're gonna have to take the l on the job, gonna have have to to job. but you know okay i'll take, be back in there yeah <laughs> or it's one of the two take, yeah take the l on the job but then that job's like that's your dude that's what no, you've no, been working you on yeah. like, listen babes let me go out there and try pat yeah, inside yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. baby's not getting aborted either way yeah because in that situation but then in that situation some guys would be like yo my job i'm good like, yeah. i can't i can't support but you fundamentally the choice is still hers that's the it is the, yeah fundamentally the choice is still hers but it all boils back down mm. to you mm. i would say will always be limited because it is not us mm. we're not equal in this situation just a message for the man them out there if you're ejaculating no, again you're ejaculating sure in. you know what you're you're getting for it because once you <sighs> you're done yeah, t's yeah. and c's Know who you're ejaculating in, boy. Yeah, you cannot you're... see her being the mother of your child. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to Grandma's house this week and I'm going to film her saying that. Think about Grandma, it. Grandma's your famous line. I'm going to film it and I'll pull it up there, fam. So, you know, <laughs> granny, Granny's words speak. Yeah, man. But yeah. So I think we're kind of all in agreement with that one then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, definitely. Ultimately, we would love to have a say here and there, but 
ultimately, you know, we don't have a say. Yeah, we do. it, boils, <laughs> it boils down to equality. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If uh, yeah, we branch yeah, off yeah. on that, it boils down to equality. It's the woman's choice. It's her body. It, but the thing is, it it's built towards that anyway. Mm. So it's her body. Mm. She mm. has to give birth. When that child comes out, she's got to breastfeed that child. She's, she's got, got to nurture the, it. She's got all the rights, rights. over yeah, that child. Rights, 100%. Yeah, rights, hundred percent. I mean, she's the one that's going to be affected the most she goes through, through physical, this. Pre- she goes she's through going through, through the physical, exactly. emotional. She's going through every aspect of it. Man, please, man, man. No, leave it in there. Oh, to license it.